Everything's changing. It happens a lot. I think change is something that I have been terrified of for so long. And I think a lot of other people have as well. Going from secondary school to choosing your college to eventually choosing your own uni, changing friendship groups. It's all terrifying, it's all scary. And it wasn't until I went on to self-improvement and I've been on self-improvement for basically two years now. It wasn't until I discovered something known as mindfulness that gave me a fresh perspective and I wasn't so scared of change anymore. And I just want to reveal to you the things that I have learned on my journey. My name is Wada and I help other young men like me take back control of their lives. First things first, how are you? I hope things have been good. I hope things have been alright. I know we've got another inside video right now. It's currently around 6am, but it's still rainy, it's still stormy. I can't do anything about that. Understanding mindfulness. At its core, everyone thinks that it is just being more present of your current moment. But a lot of people are actually wrong. Well, not wrong, but they miss out one very important thing about mindfulness. Yes, at its core, mindfulness is about being fully aware and present in the current moment and not being swept up with all the worries of this current moment in time. But it's not with the aim of just to stop our thoughts completely, which a lot of people do when they try to meditate, they try to just completely stop their thoughts. That's not what mindfulness is. Mindfulness is just being able to take a step back and have a look at our thoughts and our worries and not get swept up with them. Not to try and stop our thoughts completely because that's almost impossible. I don't think we can do that. I was first introduced into mindfulness as a sort of meditation form of practice in Buddhism. But nowadays, I think a lot of us know that mindfulness and meditation is just a world-known accepted thing that helps you with your self-awareness and with your mental health and also helps you come to terms with the acceptance of change which is that one thing that we are all terrified of so mindfulness one very very good way to be more mindful is by simply meditating and one simple thing that you can do to get better at meditating which you can do five to ten minutes every single day is when you meditate all you need to do is focus breathing in with your nose that's it in with your nose and out with your nose you don't need to focus on so many other things you just need to focus on breathing in with your nose and out with your nose and when your mind drifts off so your mind starts to worry or it starts to think about other things about your day obviously like i said your aim isn't just to stop your thoughts because that's impossible your aim is just to sit back realize that your mind is drifting off and then bring it back to your focus on breathing in with your nose and out with your nose. What that is, what you did right there, when your mind drifts off and then you bring it back to your main point of focus when you meditate, that is known as a mind rep. You're basically training your mind to be more mindful. So that's the basis principle. There are lots of videos out there which can teach you how to meditate in much greater depth, and I'll do a video on it as well, but in this video, I wanna mainly talk about the benefits from mindfulness and how it can help you accept change. Now, some of this is going to sound pretty insane, but there is been there has been scientific research behind meditation and has proven all of this to be true. So, when you're meditating and you've been doing it right, up to literally 30 minutes a day, it can improve your physical well-being, such as reducing inflammation and can boost your immune system. And obviously, meditation and being more mindful has a lot of benefits on the mental health. Obviously, you're practicing and being more mindful of your present moment and not being too worried about those emotions that can get quite overwhelming sometimes. It helps with sometimes depression, mental illnesses, and helps you sort of be a lot more aware of this current moment in time. And overall, it just improves your well-being. So it improves your physical, your mental, and overall, it improves your satisfaction of life. But... That's the one thing I think people sometimes forget, that with mindfulness, it doesn't just come from meditation. Yes, meditation is really, really good. Very, very helpful with you being more grateful and having a more satisfying and fulfilling life. But mindfulness doesn't just come from meditation. It comes from other things too. And this is what I like to talk about. Something I think I created, I haven't heard anyone else talk about this, but it's called mindfulness in the daily life. So it's not just meditation. 
right? It's the aim of incorporating mindfulness into every activity of your life throughout your daily life, not just meditation. You can incorporate mindfulness in all the activities that you do, starting off small, maybe, maybe even when it's just brushing your teeth, getting ready for the morning, just being a little more grateful of when you eat, you know, savoring every single bite. I take a very long time to eat. I think it's weird how long I take to eat, but I'm literally just there enjoying every single bite that I take. And then one of the biggest things that's helped me with mindfulness isn't just meditation, it's nature. Going outside is probably one of the best benefits I have ever, ever had, starting self-improvement nearly two years ago. Before I was on self-improvement, I never used to go outside. I genuinely used to be like a shut-in, and the only reason I went outside was to go to school. That's so messed up. That is actually so messed up. God, man, young me, what was wrong with you? But now, I've literally, in the first month of being on self-improvement, I went outside more than I did for a whole year when I wasn't on self-improvement. And the benefits it has is incredible. Genuinely, I like to aim for at least 10 minutes of meditation when I, the, literally the moment I wake up, because that helps start off my day in a really, really positive mood. I'm way more mindful, I'm way more grateful. And then I kind of just feel like my day set up for a good day. And then when I go outside in nature, specifically interacting with nature. So what I want you to do, so you do your 10 minute meditation, you get on with your day, but then at some point, go outside for a walk, specifically in nature. I'm not talking about a walk in the, in the city, in the town, because sometimes that can actually be quite negative and can have the opposite effect. I want you to specifically go out and walk in nature. Find any sort of woods that's near you. Ask your mum and dad to like, oh, can we go on a drive today whenever you're free? Or at some point this week, whenever you're free. And can we just go for a walk in the woods? I want to spend some quality family time with you. Or just like go out on a walk to the woods by yourself. And interact with nature as much as possible. That stick that looks like a lightsaber, go play with it. Doesn't matter. I'm nearly 20 and I, I still do that shit. I'm out in the woods by myself. No one is watching me. I look at that tree and I'm like, you know what? That's a really climbable tree. I was literally out with a friend literally two days ago, or yesterday, I think it was. We went on a motorcycle ride. We, I went to places I had never been. He was taking me to places where he kind of knew. I went to a brand new woods I have never ever been to. There were literally trenches, like, was it? it like the, the woods where we went to was like the old trenches from the war. And we just went and walked around, sort of like all up and down these hills. And then there was this one tree, giant 400 year old tree. And it was perfect for climbing. It literally like, imagine like your younger self looks at a tree and you think, oh my God, that's perfect. I can climb that so easily. Exactly like that. So guess what we did? We climbed it. Literally sat there, climbed it, climbed it quite high as well. And I sat in a really comfy place and we just sat there talking, listening to music for like a couple hours. And then we turned off the spiritual music we were listening to and we, we started listening to just nature and the birds. And there were a couple people who walked by, they stared at us, right? Some people looked at us with disapproving looks. Some people looked at us and gave us a smile and like a little wave. I think one person was just running, but it was just the, yeah, people looked at us. Some of them looked at us weirdly, but most of them didn't and just gave us a smile. But in the end, even if no one walked by, we would still have had a, the most amazing time just kind of chilling there. When was the last time you did something like that? Yeah. Change is scary. Change is terrifying. Especially people around my age. Maybe you are around my age. Maybe a bit younger. You're going and you're starting to think about college or university and it is scary. Moving into your own place, getting that new job. Maybe you're an adult now. It's terrifying. Which is why I'm really appreciative of the times that I do get to sit down and meditate. That I do get to go outside and spend that half an hour more in nature. Because it kind of just brings me back to my roots and kind of lets me think, you know what? Change is scary. It happens, but I'm glad I still have things in my life that allow me to come back to my roots and just be that little bit more mindful. Literally 10% more mindful, and that 10% goes a long way. I hope this video helped you out. I hope you're good, and I hope things have been alright. And there's another video that's going to pop up in the corner here on my face. I would be really appreciative if you clicked on this.
and subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Stay consistent and do the best you can. You know what time it is? Self-improvement gears.